Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson. And today I want to talk about sunlight and your reef tank. The corals in our reef tanks are photosynthetic creatures. They have algae that lives inside them that they feed off of. At least the majority of them do. And you would think that sunlight would be the perfect light for your corals. They have spent millions, if not hundreds of millions of years evolving in our reefs to use sunlight as a primary food source. Now that's not to say it's the only food source, but it's definitely a primary food source for a lot of our corals. So logically, if you wanted to maximize coral growth and coloration, you would put your tank under direct sunlight. Well, actually, that's not true. In our shallow tanks, they can actually suffer from too much sunlight. There have been many greenhouses that have actually started to use the magical power of the sun to grow their coral and have had to put shade cloth and use artificial light for coloring. So what's going on here? Well, natural sunlight is 6500K. So that's how blue the light is. And a lot of us are running more like 20K in our tank. This is a 20K metal halide on this tank. So the higher the number, the bluer the light. And this kind of makes sense because as you go down in the ocean, the light becomes bluer and bluer because the wider spectrums of the color start to fall off as the light goes deeper where a lot of our corals live. And in fact, if you've ever watched a documentary on the coral reef, you'll notice a lot of the shallow corals are brown. Now my 24 gallon nano cube sits right next to a south facing window. You can see how bright the light is behind me. And a lot of the coral in this tank is brown. I have a 20K metal halide sitting on top of it, but it's not enough blue light. The curtains are open most of the time. And even today, you can see how much light is really coming in. And it's getting a lot of direct sunlight on the coral. Now the coral look really healthy but they get really brown. I've tried Monte Poras in this tank. I've tried leathers. I've tried just about anything I can think of. And everything sends, tends to shift towards the brown and I lose a lot of the fluorescent colors. Even the brightest zoanthids and the brightest monies will turn brown on me. Really, it's the green leathers and the green LPS corals that I'm noticing hold their color the best. This A-can, was a really nice blue and red in my 210 gallon tank. Here, it's brown. It's just shades of brown. So really, for coloration, natural sunlight isn't doing the job for this tank. And for this tank, that's something that I would really like to work around. Now remember, this tank's my wife's tank, so we're gonna do what she wants to do with it. But I really wanted to bring up the point that natural sunlight will brown your corals out. It's really interesting. Now I could fight this by adding a lot more blue light to it. And I may do that in the future. Another thing that can brown your corals out is if your parameters are off. Well, my calcium and alkalinity are where they're supposed to be. Calcium, 425. Alkalinity, eight. Magnesium's about 1300, maybe a and of course my nitrates and phosphates are super low right where you want them so clearly those aren't why my corals brown out in this tank the other thing commonly associated with sunlight is algae growth and as you can see in this tank there is no algae growth the phosphates and nitrates are almost undetectable. My phosphate test, I can't tell. And my nitrate test, if you look at it sideways, you got a tinge of pink. And I'm using a protein skimmer and a Santa Monica filtration algae turf scrubble to keep it that way. Now, as you can see, there's no algae. So sunlight and bright light on its own won't grow algae. 
If you have sunlight and high nutrients, you're going to have an algae outbreak. And in fact, before I hit the protein skimmer on this tank, I had a lot of algae problems in this tank. When I put the protein skimmer in, when I boosted the cleanup crew, when I added the turf scrubber, the algae went away. So sunlight on its own won't grow algae. Sunlight is a requirement for algae to thrive, which is why a lot of people will try three days of darkness and things like that to get rid of it. But the sunlight will not directly grow algae. If you're running a reef tank with photosynthetic corals, you're gonna have to have a big light on it to keep those corals happy. And if you can keep coral happy and healthy, you can grow algae. So don't blame the sun. The problem's your water and your lack of cleanup crew. The tank has been by this south facing window for almost two years and everything I put in this tank turns brown. With good water quality and everything right, everything turning brown, it's got to be the sun. What else can it be? So I just found this interesting and I thought I would share it with everybody what sunlight can do for or to your reef tank, depending on your point of view. So thank you for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.